this is what the internet has told me that there is a vibe shift going on that there's also an astrological portal and I should be manifesting my pussy off right now and if I don't manifest my face off I'm literally not going to get any of my dreams like I might as well just yeet myself into the Sun on top of this I am out of Lexapro and I'm about to start my period Hello and welcome back everyone to another edition of that's right, a video on this little corner of the internet. This week I'm going to be Miss Frizzling your asses and we're going to take a little field trip into my uterus. That's right, because this week my uterus demands to be the main character. <laughs> we're just listening. We're we're going to do it. We're gonna let her have it because this week my uterus is stealing all of the intention So I might as well allow it to steal yours as well. I'm about to start my period any moment now truly any moment now You know those months where you can just tell where you just have a day where you are mega bitch. You are ultra bitch You have cravings for Chicken Parmesan one second and then in the next second you want to slap someone up the face. That sounded quite aggressive um I don't want people to think that I slap. Is that a cat? We're all just trying to get by. You know those months where you can just feel like it's gonna be a doozy? That's where we are today. Just, it's gonna be a doozy. Yes, this week I'm going to be testing out a relatively new advancement in pain management for period cramps. It's called electrocution. What? What? No. Oh, no, so sorry, my producer's actually telling me that's not what it's called. What's it? Okay. Yes, okay, so yes, it's called electric stimulation or electric stim. If you've been to a chiropractor before or maybe even a physical therapist, you might have had this used on larger muscle groups. But this week, we're going to be experiencing it on the uterine muscle group. The wall of the uterus that goes like this every month. It's really it's what it does. Imagine a bear claw. Imagine a bear claw now going like this. And now imagine a bear claw going like this. That's what it feels like. <laughs> now usually electric stim machines are used on larger muscle groups specifically for people who may have like a chronic injury or some muscle fatigue or what have you. But this week I'm going to be slapping these puppies on my uterus to see if that can help me mitigate the amount of pain medication I take around this time of the month. In fact, haha, -ha, is this a microphone? <laughs> it's not. It's electric stim. But first, Wine. Your wine experience has arrived. Oh, it's Friday. It's been a long week at work. I'm so happy to have some wine. I know that's right. Hello, party people, and if you're anything like me, you know of the curative powers of wine. And cured is how I certainly felt when I received my shipment of Bright Cellars this month. Hoo hoo hoo! God is good, and Bright Cellars is a gift. Bright Cellars is a subscription service from the heavens that tailors the perfect wine experience to your specific taste. After only a seven question quiz, Bright Cellars matches you with all kinds of wine that will make your taste buds sing. They source from small vineyards from all over the world so you don't have to be an expert sommelier to get the tasty ex experience. I love Bright Cellars so much because with each box I feel like I'm traveling the world. I simply could not ask for a better partner for today's video because what's better than a glass of wine after a long day of period cramps? Nothing, nothing, I tell you. Nothing. And as of right now, you're in luck because Bright Cellars is offering 50% off your first shipment of six bottles of wine, which is a value of $55. Hello, we're saving and we're sipping. Whoo! That is so good. Come on over and check out my link in the description box to find out more. It's coming. It's coming. I can feel her. She is on the threshold. Who's that? It's me. Your period. Do you know that doctors did some research and found out that the pain levels that we feel when we have a period is the same as someone having a heart attack? We're just walking around here freely bleeding, having a four day long heart attack. And I could feel my little heart attack starting to happen. And I just have to go to work tomorrow still. 
I just have to do it because a tampon commercial told me I had to. So in the lead up of this sick new period drop, bro, I started to experience a flicker of a familiar feeling. Mmm. Yes, it's called bitchery. The symptoms include <clears throat> lack of patience, lack of energy, spike in appetite, and loss of sense of humor. By that I mean I still think my jokes are funny, but no one else's jokes are funny and don't crack any at my expense. And this, my friends, is usually a foreshadowing of bad things to come because the longer the bitchery period lasts, the more it tells me that the cramps themselves are going to be lethal. And God help us if the bitchery pushes back the arrival date because then you know, that's even worse. So when this started happening to me in February 2022, the year of our Lord, I decided to rearrange our video slate and schedules because I could feel that my body was producing the opportunity for some really great content. AKA my cramps were gonna be putting this TENS machine to the test. My period hasn't started yet. Sometimes she does this, like the nasty little bitch she is. She's just like, ah. Uh, oh, no, nah. oh, no, I'm definitely still PMSing. When I'm PMSing, I just don't want to be around people. Not necessarily because I don't want to be around people. I just feel like for their safety, you know, I shouldn't be around people. Because if it's not like they annoy me, it's like I'm going to say something wrong and then think about it for 45 minutes and judge myself. I can't just bow out of work. I can't just be like, mm, I, money, I don't need it. And I'm gonna put on a happy face, do my makeup, and just pray, 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 pray that I don't get my period while I'm at work. Because once the cramps start coming, then like all I need to do is lie down. That's all I need. So I'm just gonna pray that that doesn't happen until I get home. I think I'm gonna take my electric stim thing with me though, just in case. Walk into the bathroom because I think it's happening. I don't feel good and uh, the bitchiness level has risen at least 30 points in the past 30 minutes, so. It's time. It hasn't started yet. <sighs> this is bullshit. She's here. Fuck. I'll be here for the next 30 minutes. But first, let's talk about this machine and this technology and how it could help the body. So how does it work? Well, I'm glad you asked. Pain relief involving TENS or TENS machines is postulated to involve the gate control theory. It's developed by Walls and Melzack in 1965 and basically what that means is, well, Patrick will let you explain it. It really does feel like my uterus is getting a call. <laughs> <laughs> And unfortunately, it's not like fully relief. You know what it is? I feel nauseous. That's what it is. I feel, I'm feeling the nausea and the cramps, but this is helping the cramp part, I will say. Well done, science. Sorry, I'm interrupting your vlog. About my period cramps. Wow. 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 But you brought dude. up science. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, it's not designed to provide like long lasting relief because it's not, it's not like, you know, heat or cold therapy, it's literally using, from what I understand, using electricity to interrupt the pain signals going from that spot to your brain. So you're, it's, it's just interrupting the pain as yeah. opposed to like curing it. I'm just saying that science could do a lot better for women, don't you think? Uh, do better right. science. That's 100%. This is a whole problem. I don't need half of it to be fixed. I need the whole thing to be addressed. I don't know why I'm saying this to you like your father science. <laughs> I'll, I, uh, I'll talk to science. <laughs> to father science. <laughs> also, did you know that our body produces something called prostaglins? Prostaglins are hormone-like substances that cause a lot of the muscles downstairs to contract, which is why we have period cramps. Some people have overactive cramping, which can cause a lack of oxygen to that area of the body, which is really painful. And electric stimulation encourages the muscles in your body to contract and release, contract and release. In fact, that's exactly what it feels like. <coughs> 10 years ago, I would have just attacked these cramps with some ibuprofen and some coffee. 
and then continued on my day. Now, a day is that's a recipe to throw up. I'm getting email after email after email about work that I need to do, get done. And all I wanna do is just to eat myself into the sun. That's all I wanna do. For those of you who may be watching this and don't have a period, you may be thinking to yourself, wow, your mood and energy levels just shifted. But to that I say, you are correct. Life with me is a roller coaster. When your hormones have the same narrative structure as a soap opera airing at 2 p.m. on NBC, things are gonna get a little wild. I almost bit off my gel extension just there. It is time. Ignore the coffee stain. You're apparently supposed to put it with some space in between, and then the space in between the two stickers is what ends up being electrocuted. Oh yeah, she's buzzing. Take me away, take me away, ow! Too much buzz. It's not pleasurable, but it is reducing the pain. All I feel is vi vibration. <sighs> Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes. This just randomly turns off after 20 minutes and you feel it. You feel it immediately when it stops. You're like, oh, where's the relief? I don't know how long, realistically, you should be electrocuting yourself. I don't know if you should be doing this for more than 40 minutes. And on top of this, I got something in my eye just now. Oh, give yourself relief, girl. Oh, there it goes. This thing goes from zero to ouch. Very, oh, see, there it goes. It goes from zero to ouch very quickly. Electrocuting yourself puts the body's natural response on pause. As soon as it stops, the nausea and the feeling like I need to run and take a shit is immediately back. But as soon as you turn the switch on, boop, it goes, those feelings go away, which is wild. Also, I'm wondering how much I should just be lying down and receiving the electrocution instead of like walking around and working. But who has time to lie down and receive? Not in this economy. My God. I'm gonna take a shower. So far, I haven't had any Advil. That is significant because on the first day of my period, my girl, I am eating it, eating ibuprofen and acetaminophen like it's candy. This is the first hour, 15 minutes I've had my period and I haven't touched pain medication. Not even wheat. <gasps> significant. Got a cramp. Right when I was doing my mascara, just like winced. And now, look at me. I was so hopeful too, because in the shower it felt so good, my body was relaxing, there was no back pain, and then as soon as I stepped out of that shower, I was, oh, I felt it again. Effectively, I've only gone two hours without Advil, but I've just got so much work to do today, so much editing and then like shooting stuff that I'm gonna take some ibuprofen. This is gonna wear off in like probably four hours, if that. I'm in the middle of a call a Zoom call right now, and my cramps are going off. Hey y'all, I'm just gonna turn my camera off for a second. I need to get something in the kitchen, but I'm still listening. Fuck, fuck. My video's turned off, so I can quickly reapply. Ah, shit. No, I definitely think those um, CTAs are really important to grab. No, right, no, I think we're definitely aligned on that. Okay, I'm back on mute. Jeez, do you see this dance, y'all? This dance that we uterus havers have to do just to manage our pain. And honestly, on a scale of one to 10, my pain's at like a six right now, so really not that bad considering. Oh, you guys are really getting a sick angle right now. The relief is immediate. Still in my own little electrocution station here. My little back of electricity. I haven't had to take any pain medication today, which has been really nice because whenever I have a little tinge, I fight back. I do like this. I like the ability to fight fire with fucking fire or electricity. Now, the only thing I wish that this could do, and this is gonna sound disgusting, is I need like three more pads for this bad boy and I want one that's large that just goes across my lower back and then I want another that goes on my taint. You heard me correctly. Sometimes y'all, and the uterus havers will know this, your taint will just be sore from the bleeding and the cramping and the sitting on the toilet. If they could make a taint pad for this and then normalize electrocuting your taint while they're at it, I'd be all on board. And no, I'm not doing merch for that. <laughs> Now, if you sit down at your computer and Google electric stimulation for period cramps, a machine comes up called Ovira, or sometimes called 
Livia. There are a couple out there in the stratosphere. All of these machines cost like $139, $124. Some of them offer a subscription service for the little plastic pads that you have to put on your body. That's a lot of money. I just want to compare that really fast to my little machine that I have. You can get one of these puppies on Amazon for $32. $32. Yeah, I however got mine for free. God bless because this was actually a birthday present from Patrick. Patrick got this for me because he knows I experienced terrible period cramps and also because I get like cramps with my pole shoulder. So I've been using this since my birthday on my pole shoulder. This was the first time I've actually whipped it out and put it on my belly. Patrick and I found that these Ovira and Livia machines basically provide the same kind of relief as the TENS machine. It's the same technology. Just one is priced up because it looks cute. Like this TENS machine, I mean, it's it looks like a calculator. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it looks like an old Nokia phone. Oh my gosh, is this just not taking you back to 2009? <gasps> but she packs a punch. In fact, I don't even think I've put it on a level four. I put it on maybe a level three here. I kind of take issue with Ovira and Livia pricing up something that already exists in the market for much cheaper just because it's for women. So ladies, uterus havers, if you're watching this, you're gonna wanna shop around. So yeah, that's been the week. It's been a lot of hellish buildup for about two days of really incredible pain and then it just sorts of fades away if you're someone who doesn't have a period and you're watching this video i hope that this has shed some light as to why periods are so annoying it's just a hellish lead up into two days of extreme pain at least for me and then life continues on as usual. I definitely think this TENS machine is worth investigating if you have terrible cramps. It's just another thing to put in your arsenal to help mitigate the pain. Something I learned through this challenge is while this TENS machine is excellent at handling cramps, obviously it doesn't take care of any other symptoms. I also wish that I had more of these little pads to put everywhere on my body. Thank you so much for joining me, my beautiful nerds, on this period journey. I hope you enjoyed your field trip. Tell me in the comments below if you too are having your period right now. In which case, twinsies! Next week I'm going to be taking a little bit of a hiatus to get my, you know, shit together. But I'll see you very soon.